Before we get into this video, I am fully aware that I have a stupid amount of perfume and we're not going to talk about the process because I don't like math and I don't do numbers. But other than that, I want you to know that I have an addiction to perfume. It's totally okay. I'm, I'm aware of it. Um, I'm not working on it because I love it. I'm going to continue to buy it. But uh, I'm fully aware that I have a stupid amount of perfume and my collection is large. Um, these are the, my favorite fall scents. So I had this is probably like, I don't know if it's half. Maybe like a quarter of my collection. Um, that's okay. You know, you have your thing. I have mine. But before we get into this video, hello, hi, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie Fawn. And, you know, I love perfume. So if you want to know what fragrances you need to be wearing in fall and winter, you keep on watching. But before you do, like and subscribe to your girl if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. This is in no particular order whatsoever because I don't pick favorites. Actually, I do. That's a complete and total lie. But all these are my favorites, and they're back here, and I have them displayed so I can kind of, you know, see them, get the vibes. Um, but I'm just going to talk about them as I grab them, and then put them over here so I can put them up later. Those are the vibes. That's what's going on. So, the first one that I am picking up is the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere from Philosophy. I got a tiny one. These are actually so inexpensive, but this actually does smell like the smell. If you, if cashmere itself could be a smell, which I guess it kind of is, but it's not at the same time. This would be it. It is a very warm fragrance. This is a, like a trend through a lot of these fragrances is that they're like a warm, I don't know, amazing fragrance. I love the way this smells. I think that it smells warm. I think it smells like cashmere. I think that it smells really cozy. It reminds me of like a cabin, like a, like a cabin in the woods, but not creepily. Like it's gorgeous. You know, you're sitting on the back porch, you're drinking coffee or tea or whatever your jam is. And like the leaves are turning brown, or not like brown, I guess they are brown, brown like orange and yellow. And maybe like you're gonna have a fire and you just had the best food of your life. And it's like everything you could ever imagine and then some. And this is the perfume that you're like wearing. And it's just like, mm, you know, fresh cream, warm cashmere. That is so good. I'm definitely gonna buy a big one whenever I go through this. Um, I just bought this like literally just to try it. Phenomenal, amazing chef's kiss love this so much okay this golly i need to dust my perfumes my assistant is fired i don't have an assistant it's just me that's a lot um so anyways this is the carolina herrera um good girl perfume bad girl is this good girl no this is good girl yeah this is good girl um i thought that it was like gimmicky whenever i first saw it and i was like that's the stupidest thing i've ever seen like it probably stings and not it you know it just has like this heel no girl it smells really phenomenal it smells so good. I've talked about this before. It just smells like a rich person. I don't know. I don't know how else to tell you. I can't. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It smells like somebody who is wealthy. And I'm not talking like their dad owns a tech company. I'm talking like they got old money. They go to trips in Italy and ride on yachts and private boats that are fancy, you know. So let me just. Yeah, it just smells so good. So fresh, but also like you could definitely wear it in the daytime, but I also think you could wear it like you should definitely wear it in the evening. I mean, you can wear it in the day. You could, should definitely wear it in the evening. It is a deeper fragrance, but it's just so nice. I don't know how to like describe this one because it's a different kind of smell. Like it's a different than a lot of these perfumes. Um, but I definitely recommend trying it on because every time I wear this, it kind of just gives me like CEO, old money kind of vibes. That's just what I get. I also do think the packaging is really cute whenever it's just sitting there, you know? It can be kind of challenging to squirt out because you like want to hold on to that. Um, but it bends, so be careful. This is a perfume that I feel like everyone and their mom talked about for so long. This is the YSL Black Opium Fragrance. It is very warm. I think it has like bourbon, maybe vanilla notes. It just smells really nice. Like this is a nice fragrance to wear in the fall or winter. I do wear this in, a, in the winter a ton. Like a lot of my sweaters just smell like this all the time because this is what I wear. And it is a nice, warm, very, f but like it's a floral fragrance, but it's a deep, warm floral fragrance. And so I feel like it's suitable for anybody so if you like florals and that's something you lean toward I feel like you would still definitely like this but if you're somebody who wears a lot of deep like maybe men's cologne or something you would also like this it's like a feminine cologne slash floral smell it's just really nice it's really warm um I love it I think the packaging's super cute it's easy to spray that's the thing for me it's like I hate something that's not easy to spray like the Carolina Herrera good girl I mean I love the smell but it's not easy to like apply so I'm like mm, you know what I mean I feel like anybody could wear this I really do I think that that this is probably like the most universal or in, and universally flattering scent that I have. And so I would definitely check this one out. Okay, this one is YSL Libre, which honestly, I smelled the first time and I was like, that smells disgusting. Like, I'm never going to like that. But then it grew on me because I was like, you know what? I think that it's just so different from anything else that I wear that I 
still would really like that. So a lot of people say that this gives them like the CEO, like you have a lot of money, you own a company kind of vibes. And it kind of does give me that, but I feel like it's a fresh, like this is a fall daytime fragrance. You can also wear it in the summer, I think, but more so like going into fall. It's a very daytime fragrance. So it's not that as deep. It's not as musky or, um, I don't know, like gourmandish, but this one, stunning. It, and then the bottle's amazing. Like I think this is one of the best or most well-designed bottles I've seen really ever from a perfume company or just from a company in general. YSL killed it with this packaging. Um, and I do really like the smell of that. I think that it smells really nice if you're wanting something for the daytime. Because a lot of these, I'm like, dang, I don't want to be wearing that at, like, brunch. You know what I mean? Or, like, going to the coffee shop. You'll be like, as you walk by. Which sometimes that's my vibe. But sometimes it's not, you know? Okay, so this one, I actually smelled. This is a funny story. I actually got my hair done in Lexington. And then I went to Sephora after that. And I had to pick something up. And there was a perfume person in there that was, like, their perfume expert. And they were, like, doing a whole thing over this perfume. Which is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. So, they gave me a card. And they were like, oh, here, smell it. And I literally told them the notes. I was like, does that have a base note of patchouli and, you know, like going on? And they were like, are you a perfumist? I was like, no, girl, I just like perfume. It smells amazing. It is very, very sweet, though. Like, and it's almost to the point of sweet. Like, it's, it is right the verge of being too sweet, but it's not too sweet. So, if you've ever smelled Victor and Roth Bonbon and you were like, dang, that's too sweet. This is like, it's stepsister that's like sweet, but a little bit musky at the same time. And I don't mean musky in a bad way. I don't want you to think that I mean musky in like a gross man smelling way or whatever. It just smells musky in the fact that it's a bit of a deeper fragrance. And so it makes it really nice to wear in the fall and winter rather than wearing something like that in the spring and summer. You know, when you want to, when you want to wear like light airy fragrances that are really fresh smelling. So I love this a whole lot, but I will say it is easy to wear too much of this. So you can need like one and a half sprays. Boom, you're out the door. You're done. It smells amazing. Um, just be careful. I would recommend like going into the store and trying all these on, but especially this one, if this is something that you think that you might like. It smells amazing and it has a really nice staying power, but it's just like, you need to try it out first. See if you like it. I have a lot more, okay? I have a lot more, bear with me. Okay, so this one, I hate the packaging on this. The packaging actually, actually like makes me wanna scream. This is the Lancome La Vie Belle, La Vie Est Belle. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not French, okay? But anyways, this is that one. My mom actually has this one in the rose scent. It smells really nice on her, but it's just not my journey. Um, I love the way this smells. Definitely a daytime fragrance in my opinion. You could wear it at night. It's a very like feminine, floral, flirty kind of smell. But this is a really nice, just like everyday throw on fragrance. Um, it, it just smells really nice. Like I don't know what else to say other than the fact that like this is a very like clean, classy lady that wears this. But it doesn't give me the vibes. It's like she has a, she got a money. You know what I mean? I don't know. You're somebody's aunt and whenever you go home, you like water your plants and you have a, a like a little yappy dog and you have a hood over your stove and um i don't know what else does it give me vibes of you wear skinny jeans you definitely wear skinny jeans if you wear this except i wear it and i don't wear skinny jeans i actually don't wear any jeans that touch me i don't know it just smells really clean and a lot of people whenever i worked at sephora would come in and buy this fragrance and they'd be like oh my wife loves this or my mom loves this or whoever it is they loved it you know and I feel like it's a fragrance that people could wear all the time, no matter what the event is, and they always smell good. And it's just like, hmm, they smell good. Like, turn your head and be like, they're a clean person. Okay. This one has been in my life for a hot minute now. I want to say like th maybe three or four years. This is the Jimmy Choo fragrance. What is this one called? Um, I don't know. I think it's just Jimmy Choo, literally. Um, but this smells so good. It has notes, base notes of tobacco and vanilla and something else, pink pepper maybe. I don't know, but this is one of the best smelling fragrances I've ever smelled. It is definitely not a spring or summer fragrance because it does have like that tobacco smell. But it's like, it's it's a wonderfully, one of the top three, I think, in the, in the world, well done fragrances. That it's just like the balance of everything is literally perfection. And it's just the right amount of masculine meets feminine vibes. And it smells really, really, really nice. Yeah, I love this so much. And it stays on really well. It just like gives me like, you know how they say like fragrances give you so many memories. Like I could smell a fragrance and it takes me back to whatever day or whatever time that I was wearing this fragrance. And I would wear this every single day to CrossFit. I wear perfume. Like that's not a weird thing for me. I wear perfume everywhere that I go. I'll put on perfume before I go to bed. I put on perfume multiple times throughout the day. I put on perfume as soon as I get out of the shower. I have a million and 10 perfumes, a million and 10 body sprays. I love to smell good. And I love for people to smell me and be like, ooh, you smell good. You know what I mean? Like. And so I just, at the time period, whenever I first got this, I was going to CrossFit in, um, at like a local place and I wore this every day. And so it takes me back to every single morning, going to the eight o'clock, eight o'clock class and like freezing to death because it was in the winter. 
Oh, yeah, that smells so good. I love this fragrance. Okay, this next one took a hot minute for, like, to grow on me. Um, this is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. She's expensive. I don't think... Well, no, I know which one's the most expensive, um, which I'll share with you guys in a minute. It's just kind of stupid. But anyways, like I said, this is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. It took me a while to be like, oh, yeah, I really like, like that fragrance because it is sweet. But it has such a nice smell and it has such a nice staying power. And I feel like you can smell somebody whenever they're wearing Flower Bomb. It's a very recognizable fragrance. And it's like, oh, they have on Flower Bomb. It is a very sweet fragrance. But it has deeper notes to where it's not so overly sweet that it's like sickening. sickening. Like Pink Sugar from, um, oh, what's the brand? I don't know. Pink Sugar. I'll pop up a picture. It's so popular. I hate that fragrance so much. It is so sweet and so disgusting to me. Like it makes me literally ill. Like it's just too much but this one's a really good balance and it is like I said very sweet but it's just it's such a nice like mix between sweet masculine those kind of vibes so if that's something you're into I know that I'm terrible at explaining this okay I'm aware but I'm trying so anyways really good that one I swear to you I have multiple um sweaters that I can still smell that on I don't wash my sweaters every time I wear them if you didn't know you're not supposed to do that like Dry clean only or, you know, hand wash, blah, blah, all the things. Sometimes I still like throw them in the washer. But you're not supposed to wash them a ton, especially if it's like a nice cashmere or wool or whatever kind of sweater. So, um, Flower Bomb stays on those really well. The five that I have left are like my my babies. My, I think I might die if I don't have these fragrances in my life kind of vibes. Except for one, which I'll share in a minute. This one is, I have like an emotional connection to this one. Because my aunt got me this. And she was actually the first person who ever bought me a perfume. And she bought me this because I would always tell her, you smell so good. And this is the one that she wore. This is the Coco Chanel or Coco uh, Chanel Noir. And I love the packaging. I think it's so classy, very Chanel. Um, but I would wear this every single day. I, don't, I have a tiny bit left. You can't see inside this bottle, but I have a very small amount left. And it's just a such a good fragrance. Like y'all gonna be like, dang, she's gonna have a headache. It smells so good. Um, I did wear this on a date once. I just feel, hold on, let me say this. I feel like this smell is like a very Chanel smell. Like it's definitely not a Chanel number five, but it's definitely a Chanel smell that's like, that's a powerful fragrance. It is a very, um, like when you walk in the room, people are gonna smell it kind of fragrance, but it's a in, a, in the best way. It's like, she smells amazing. She, I don't know. It's like such a nice smell. I don't know how to describe it. Out of all the fragrances that I own, I would say that this is definitely the most different from any of them. Definitely the most different. It's like not warm and it's not floral and it's not musky. It is just a really nice fragrance. I love it so much. So I'll have the base notes of like, or the notes of like every one of these up. Um, but golly, I just love this so much. I don't know what else to say about it. Like it just smells so nice. And I, it takes me back to whenever I would wear it. Like, you know, I think I got this in the high school, at the beginning of high school. And I would wear it and people would be like, you smell so good. It smells like an adult. That's what it smells like. It smells like an adult woman who's got her crap together. Okay. I want to talk about this one. This is my most expensive one. Uh, it was over, I think it was like $400. It is stupidly priced. This is the Mason Francis Courage Jean Paris Baccarat Rouge 540. I will say though, this fragrance is the best smelling fragrance um, that I've ever just picked up and been like, like take a step back. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing kind of fragrance. And it does smell like that all day and all night. This is a stupidly priced fragrance. Um, they do have a dupe for it on alt fragrances. I think it's called like alt 40 or alt 46, alt 45. I don't know. Um, but I'll have it linked down below or I'll have it put down below so you guys can like check it out. It's like 40 bucks and it does smell very, very similar. The alcohol content in it, in it is a bit higher so it's not going to stay on you as long. But it still smells like has the same undertones or under notes, undertones, has the same notes and like base notes as Baccarat Rouge. So I still think that it smells very similar. And a lot of the times if I'm wearing this, I will mix it with the alt one just to have better staying power. I love the way this smells. I couldn't tell you the notes to save my life, but I feel like you can wear it spring, summer, winter, fall. And if you were a perfume person... I would recommend investing in it. I just would. It smells amazing. And it's like, every time I wear that, like, okay, for example, me and Caleb went to a um, concert in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was sitting on the opposite side of the room as someone, and they walked in, and I literally said to him immediately, I was like, somebody in here is wearing Baccarat Rouge 540. And he was like, okay. And I was like, you don't understand. Like, that's a very distinct smell, very like, oh my gosh, that's a dang good smell, smell. Oh, I love this smell so much. And we walked by, and we walked by that person, and I was like, yeah, that's the person. That's the person who's wearing Baccarat Rouge 540. Like, you can smell it. It smells good. I think that even, like, men could wear that. 
it's amazing. I think that it actually is a unisex fragrance. Maybe it's not. No, it's a perfume. Um, it just smells amazing. Okay. Love it so much. I know it's expensive. I know that's stupid. Try out the dupe before you buy it. And then if you decide to buy it, let me know if you love it. I just think it's incredible. Like there's a reason that it's so popular. That's all I gotta say. Okay. This is the one that I recently picked up because Miss Robin Rihanna Fenty, if you didn't know that's Rihanna's Fen or Rihanna's name, um, she has been said to wear this perfume and everyone that ever meets her says that she smells like heaven. So naturally I was like, mm, I have to smell like heaven. And she did come out with her own perfume. I don't have it yet. I do want to pick it up. Last time I checked it was sold out. So if it's not, I will be buying it. This is the um, Love by Killian Don't Be Shy perfume. I've never smelled anything like this in my whole life. The packaging itself is stunning. It comes in a really beautiful bottle. It comes in a really beautiful box as well. This is stupidly heavy. Um, they are really expensive. I think this is 1.7 ounces and it's 240 forty dollars i believe so it's expensive um especially compared to most of these that are like you know 3.4 ounces for 120 this is 240 for half the ounces so anyways this one has very deep notes i'd smell like the per or that has marshmallow as a base note i'm pretty sure Marsh marshmallow and um gosh something else but it's definitely like a vanilla marshmallow pear ish kind of smell it's very different and it's taken me a hot minute to decide whether i love it or hate it and i still don't know but i think that i love it so that's why i'm including it in this because it does smell so nice but it's definitely fall and winter fragrance only this is also definitely one of the only fragrances i've ever had in my life that i can smell on me for so long like i went to bed the day that i uh, got it in the mail i put it on my wrist and that morning i woke up and, and could still smell it and i was like that's some pretty dang powerful fragrance so I really like this a whole lot, but it's just so different and unlike anything I've ever used and definitely out of my comfort zone that I'm kind of like, do I love this or hate it? You know what I mean? Okay, I have two fragrances left and these are probably my number, not probably. I think that I just love these so much. It's stupid. So I love both of these equally and it kind of like pains me that I love them so much and I don't really know why. And it's like, I love all my perfumes and I love all my fall and winter perfumes, but these just hold a special place in my heart. This one, I have to talk about this last. I, I have an emotional connection to this one, like more so than this. This is the Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower 57 perfume. First of all, the packaging is amazing. Like her packaging, just Kaoli in general is, oh, wait a minute, I'm missing a perfume. There it is. Um. Anyway, the packaging for Kaoli is stunning. I love it, I think it's amazing. I think they're very fr fair priced fragrances. And the way that this smells is so good. Like it smells so good. Like, you are the hottest human alive. Like, you are the hottest girl walking. You have everything together. You've got money in the bank. You have a savings account. You invest in a Roth IRA. You have index funds. You have real estate in investments going on. Real estate property. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I don't know how else. And look at the spray. This is the finest mist of any perfume I've ever seen in my life. The luxury. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It is so good. So, so good. If you're going to pick up one out of all these fragrances that you're like, I don't know if I would like any of those. I don't know anything. Buy this fragrance. And then come back and tell me, and be like, girl, I loved it. I, I know. I try to tell you. You know what I mean? Amazing fragrance. It smells so good on every single person. I just feel like this is it. This is it. Okay? Like, this is it for everyone and it kind of like, I kind of want to be a gatekeeper. I kind of like don't want to tell people about it. You know, I kind of don't want to tell people about any of these fragrances, although some are really popular. Just because I feel like that's my thing, you know. But I had to let y'all know. I just had to let y'all know. The next one that I picked, okay, th this is the one I got to say for last, but I forgot about this one. I forgot to talk about this. This is about the same brand uh, as this one that I'm going to talk about. It is Replica by Mason Margiela. I love Mason Margiela as a fashion designer, but also like his Replica perfume. So good. So this is the Autumn Vibes one. It actually just came out. It smells amazing. I tried it on the store. Caleb was not a fan. He said that he thought I smelled not so good. And I said, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I don't. You know what I mean? Um, I just think it smells really good. It all, it kind of just smells like a leaf. Like, hear me out. Like a fall leaf. You know how like they'll be kind of crispy and like you smell the leaf and it's like, oh, that smells like a leaf. That's what it smells like. And it's called Autumn Vibes. It makes sense. Mason Margiela, you're a genius. I don't know how you captured the smell of a leaf, but you did. This is the fragrance of my life. This is the Replica Jazz Club fragrance. And I, it's actually a male fragrance. It's supposed to be like a, a uh, I don't know, cologne. And I guess it could be definitely cologne. But this fragrance, I've never smelled anything as good as this. Never in my life. I've talked about it before. I'm going to talk about it again until the day that I die. It smells amazing. It smells just like a jazz club. And that's what it says on it. Originally, Jazz Club, Province and Period, Brooklyn, 2013. Fragrance description, heady cocktails and cigars. 
That's exactly what it smells like. Is if you were in a jazz club, it's on my hand, that's why I'm smelling it. If you were in a jazz club and you were wearing a black slinky dress and you had your hair fixed beautifully and you felt like really confident, really attractive, really like you've got everything together and it's like the, in the 50s or 60s, you know what I mean? And it's like an amazing time period and like the men are wearing suits and they're smoking cigars. This is what that jazz club smells like. It's like all the women's perfumes and fragrances mixed with the men's colognes and the cigars and just the vibes is exactly the fragrance of a jazz club. And that is very much so my vibe, very much so my vibe. Like my dream is to go to a jazz club like that. I, oh, it just, I feel like I ha I'm emotional about it because I want to be there so bad. Like I want to be in a jazz club like that so bad. And I will wear this fragrance and I will wear my black cow neck satin dress. And I will have my hair fixed and I'll be wearing 505 from Fawn Beauty. Oh, that smells so good. Let me tell you that I'm fully aware that this video was all over the place. I'm fully aware that I'm not very good at explaining fragrances, okay? But I also wanted to let you all know my favorite perfumes for the fall and winter because it's been highly requested. And also, I just love talking about perfume, okay? That's all I gotta say about it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Like and subscribe before you leave. Um, second of all, if you have any of these fragrances, if you love them, hate them, let me know in the comments down below. If there's a fragrance that you're like, oh my gosh, if you like that fragrance, you need to try this one. Let me know. You know I'll buy it. You know that I will buy it. So don't be gatekeeping information from me because I just let y'all know all my, all my secrets, okay? I just, anyways. Um, so those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. And that is my everything. So I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. So without further ado, have a fabulous day. And thank you for watching.